ladies, gentlemen, and every magnificent thing between and outside, this is the Envoy of Kairos, back for more Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. We are getting a good distance into this place now, and... It's clearly getting more and more dangerous by the moment. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, I see that. But I can't do anything with it. Hmm. I have to get higher up for that. Okay, that worked. That's not breakable. That got me up here. I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself. This feels too much like the way forward, but I need to get a new save point and an easier way back. Let's open that. Wait, can I break it open? Nope. Alright, let's unlock this path to the elevator then. Slightly increase all melee attack damage in the air. Oh, I've been in here before. This guy gave me a good deal of trouble last time I came up here. Good deal stronger and better. That slayed it. Okay, and that gives me access to this main elevator again, and back to the shop. Cool. Not going to be going there immediately, but nice to have. And nothing there. But I could get up this way.
Ooh. Okay, slay them. Getting higher up this is going to take a bit of work. Oof. Shit. Okay. Slay them. still have no way up to the higher platforms where the archers are. So, no choice but to go this way. And back to where I turned around from earlier. No secret doors on either side, just a way up. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hmm. But I see there's a secret going on here. I see what to do. Call it back while this is going. Okay, and then wait. Yeah. There we go. Huh. That really didn't do much. Okay, yeah, that's what I needed. Interesting trick. Invocation of the Simurg. Simurg has always preserved the harvests of the plains of Farce and protected Persia from the forces of evil. Grateful Persia has always relied on his wisdom to choose the one who will guide her. Once in a generation, when the future heir reaches the age of 12, the sacred procession of the presentation to the Simurg takes place. At the head of the procession, followed by all inhabitants of the Citadel, the Sovereign and his child go to the Tower of Silence to pay tribute to all the previous kings and invite their spirits to accompany the ceremony. At the Tower of Silence, the, mortals rem the mortal remains of the previous king lay in rest with the key of kings in their hands, passed down from their predecessor. The sovereign and his child seize it for the day and present it to the Persian people. The procession then makes its way to the top of the king's palace at the Simurg Temple. 
its gate opening only for members of the royal family. Alone they cross, before the eyes of the assembled people, the gate to the Simur Temple. At the heart of the temple lies the cup of Jamshid, the threshold between worlds. The sovereign then invokes the Simur to visit. The Simurg crosses the threshold between worlds, and his divine essence, the heart of the Simurg, materializes in the cup of Jamshid. The sovereign presses and presents his child and submits him to his judgment. If he deems the child worthy, the Simurg appears, and his presence illuminates the entire temple. If he deems the child worthy, he takes on the appearance of a tiny bird and lands on the child's shoulder designating them as heir to the throne. Simurg crosses the threshold between worlds again, and his visible form disappears. Only his invisible presence remains. The Sovereign and his child pass through the Simurg gate once more. The Sovereign presents to the Persian people the new king or queen, and reveals to the people their new name, the royal name that will be given to them when, the feather, when their father leaves the world of the living to rest in the Tower of Silence. Thus and always sovereigns are appointed. Thus still a child, Darius, the future King of Kings, saw the Simurg land on his shoulder. Thus the name of Darius was revealed to the Persian people and his future reign announced. Interesting lore. I get the feeling it's going to become very relevant soon. Because we've just about reached the top of this place. Oh! Uh, no thanks. I'm not prepared to fight you right now. Oh shit, a barrier. Oh shit. Ready to parry anything and everything. It'll get me back a bit of health. It has already. Okay, got him. Whew. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna backtrack, head the other way, and hopefully there's a save point there. Because I really need a save point. Yes, there is. Good. And check my amulets. Right, there's a new one. Don't need it. Or want it. Moving on. All I really needed was the save point and the potion resort. I get the feeling we're going to be seeing a lot more of this type of enemy up ahead. So I may as well practice against them while I can. Well, that made quick work of him. Alright. Moving on. Here you are at last. Uh-huh. Do we know each other? We've met many times, in the past, and in the future. Sorry, old man. I don't have time for this. No time? Damn right, you don't have time. None of us do, Sargon. How do you know my name? Because he already met you. Time doesn't work right here. You don't have time, I don't have time, nobody has time. But... I think I might soon enough. 
I think it's only a matter of time before I make time do my bidding here. is where I need to go. I'm gonna check what's down here first. And that leads to another tower I currently have no access to. Okay, headed up then. See you coming. Get fucked. Not using that just yet. There's a break in time nearby, I know I'm fixing. Ah, and it's a warp point. Nice. Well, I know what I'm doing. Back to the haven. Let's get some shopping done. Here we are. And before I do that shopping, I've got another tutorial through this old bastard. Good to see you. And it'll earn me another hundred crystals, so I'll gladly take that. Hopefully there's something new he can teach me about this dash. I doubt it, but eh. Artaban, I need to tell you something. After I defeated the Manticore, I found a feather charged with energy. A relic of the Simorg? <sighs> I've only read of its blessings through scriptures. But to even find one? Yeah. I can slip through space and move through it in an instant. Perhaps you can use it to regain control after being thrown. Hmm. Got it. Easily done. This power has real potential, but it seems you must put your feet on the ground before using it again. Simple enough. Staying in the air for longer must also have its advantages, like chasing down an airborne enemy. Right. Extend my air combos with it. Hey. Okay. Eh. Not getting this timing right. down takes a lot. There we go. 
Okay, and... There we go. Okay. If you develop any other skills, come and see me again. Gladly. I cannot guarantee that I can teach you everything, but I can try. Hey, a warrior of your age. Being able to do that much is God sent. All right. That's another good chunk of progress. Hi, Sargon. Not buying more hints from you. Don't need them. Welcome. You have anything new in stock? Nope. Well, back to the forge then. Welcome. Do you wish something? Increased damage for the bow is definitely good. And... Increase the power of all standard sword attacks. Increase my quiver capacity. Good. Nothing else I can afford and currently want. Good step forward, though. Next up. Back to the upper palace. Or upper city. Mosh two statues can be a little slow. Okay. Nearly to the top now. Wait. Yeah, nearly. Huh. Well, oh, found another save point. Nice. Okay. Well, that's treacherous. Looks like that's supposed to be a planetarium. Up. 
slightly tricky I platforming, sank. but doable. Far now. Oh. This is the way to him. Keep walking, Hassan, and no sudden moves. I have no wish to hurt you. Yeah, this is gonna be a boss fight. Ooh. Hell of a cutscene. Sargon, listen to me. Hassan is coming with me. Oh. Step aside, Sargon. I'll deal with this. Thank you, Varum. Anahita, please surrender. Varum? Oh, he's gonna kill him. No! Hassan. You bastard. Anahita, what are you hiding? How dare you, Varum? You killed our prince. Have you no honor? Honor. Duty. Don't we all have blood on our hands? What makes you different? I'm not after the throne, and I don't prey on the innocent. So long as I'm alive, you'll never get the crown. Oh. So be it. She was doing this to stop him the whole time. my judgment so you truly want the throne what will you do about it exactly what you taught me oh shit damage so far. I haven't used a potion. What you're doing, Sargon? Oh. Oh, this is some powerful cursed Astra. Oh god, none of his attacks are parryable. Shit. And he has a judgment cut? Never want to fuck with a character with a judgment cut. That's a real judgment cut. Oh, shit. Okay, this was a scripted loss. Holy shit. Alright. Had to pause there for a moment because OBS, or not OBS, my, uh, Elgato stopped capturing the game for a second. You only missed, like, two seconds of cutscene. Nothing relevant. Ooh. Really pushing himself here. 
There was time for everything. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, it's a miracle if he survives this. Your efforts are futile. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh, and he can psychically pull his sword back. Every word of your story, I can undo it all. Oh, he's commanding time. It's rewinding just like the dagger. The gods chose me. I am the rightful king. Accept it. You ain't rightful for shit. You can still change your mind, Sarah. I did. And he throws Sarger onto his death. This bastard. You are a weapon raised to serve Persia. This is the greatest honor. Remember, Sargon. I am Sargon. I have come to challenge the White Lion of Persepolis. <laughs> you Quite the flashback. Dog. What ditch did you crawl out of? Lower your weapons. General Ned. Stand down. He'd tear you apart. And where should we deliver your corpse, young man? Dump me on the banks of the Aras, or the Yast Plains. It's all the same to me. An orphan, then. What brings you here, young warrior? People say you're the greatest warrior in all of Persia. So, I've come to prove them wrong. <laughs> Very well, then. I'm sure he lost this fight, too. But at least earned his respect in the process. You are a brave one, Sargon. I'll give you that. And bravery is what makes us immortals. He is the one that brought you into the fold. And now he's gone and tried to kill you. How could I be so wrong? Guys. Where's Layla? What's at the end of your blade? In this case, the ground. <laughs> your anger blinds you, Sargon. Hassan is dead. The immortals have failed. Victory, failure. Must every passing encounter on your journey be given a name? Hey! Give me the eye! It's mine! Oh, great. He's making his way off with my map. So I don't even know where the fuck I am right now. Well. I'm gonna have to end this one here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Envoy of Kairos signing out. I'll see you all again very soon. When our turn to figure out where the fuck I am and where I go from here. Things just got a lot more complicated. <laughs>